Livestock? What's up with that thing? I have expected girls to just pluck their eye right out of their head whenever they use that thing. For the most, look, I gotta tell you, ladies, you look much better natural. Well, okay, there's one thing. Okay, that was unexpected. I threw off my mojo. No, there is one thing. Uh, I got one little thing. I do kind of think it's really hot when a girl is missing an arm. What? Don't judge me. One-armed girls need love, too. Are there any here? Raise your hand. The, the other hand! Come on, now. You gotta keep an eye out for them, you know? So then the nice thing about growing up in Oregon, we had a lot of what we called loggers' daughters, you know? I don't that one will come around to get sooner there. Uh, I also think tattoos are really attractive. Uh, I don't have any myself, because, I mean, fucking look at me. It would be like, killer Chewbacca tattoo, man. Like, it's a butterfly, shut <laughs> The good news, though, is I'm going to be safe when the zombies come, because I will taste like I've been dropped on the floor. <laughs> the thing about zombies, too, is they can't follow that, like, three-second rule. So they're like, three-second rule. <sighs> oh, fuck, it's too late. Yeah, I'm not going to try that part again, that didn't work. Uh, so I moved here uh, for a job, and I was unemployed for a really long time in Portland. I did something like 14 temporary part-time jobs in the space of two years. It was really, really rough. There was like this period for a while there where I really thought I was going to have to move back into my parents' car. And, and I did a lot of weird shit that came along, and I knew that like, things had gone horrendously wrong with my life, but I ended up being the mascot for a sports bar. I had to dress in a turtle outfit with a viking helmet because <laughs> reptiles thrive in the ice fields of Norway. <laughs> and I had to go out and dance in football games, like, ah! And you know, I mean, you know that something's gone wrong with your life when you have a little kid punch you and tell you that he hates you because he knows you're not a real turtle. And it's not even the worst part of your fucking day! <laughs> oh. I had this reporter I knew, he was a sports reporter I'd known him for a long time, and I always had the helmet off and I was like gasping for air and sucking down water because it's like 9,000 fucking degrees in this turtle costume. And he walks by and he's like, oh, hey, Josh. Like, that's what he expected me from me all the time. <laughs> this guy, nothing, nothing big. <sighs> anyway, since I moved here, I've gotten into a really weird um, emotional conflict with my dog. No matter how many times I watch him poop, I'm just really not comfortable with him watching me. <laughs> And it's starting to feel really, really abusive. Like, I keep trying to close the door and he noses it back open. He's like, nah. -uh. How can I trust you if I can't see you when you're taking a dump? And then he walks up and he sets his chin right in between my knees. He's like, yeah. Squeeze it. Yeah. Like, you're supposed to be my best friend. This is fucking cool. At this 
point, you're probably wondering if you should laugh at that. It's okay, go ahead, laugh. You know why? Because you're a bad person. You're all bad people. You know how I know? How many of you drove here tonight? Yeah, you're all gonna drive home too, you fucking assholes. You know why? You know why we drive drunk? It's because it's so much fun. First time you do it, you're like, shit, that's so much better than Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's true, you know it's true. I had a homeless man show me his hemorrhoid the other day. Oh, you were you on a date with him? Right on, I was I had my headphones on, so I didn't know what he was saying, and uh, I was just like, yeah, 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 I don't have any money, and then he just turns around, and he pulls down his sweatpants, and spreads open his butt cheeks, and there it is, staring me in the eye like a shiny new penny. And I pulled out my headphones, like, what, what the fuck's going on? He says, well, I told you, but now I'm showing you too. And I was like, what, what'd you tell me? I don't know, I'm not up on the plot. And he said, well, fuck you, then, cracker. And he walked away. And now I'll never know. Could have been important. <laughs> he could have said, I got a map to where they buried Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Jesus appeared in my cornhole. The virus is mutated. We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go be sad about that now. Everybody, give us a round of applause.